Hey guys, welcome to another video. So here we're looking at vectors that involve ratios and this is a typical grade A star or 9 question which, you, which is commonly found in the GCSE or IGCC paper right at the end. So guys, this might look a little daunting and scary first but trust me, we're going to smash through this and it will be dead easy by the end of the video. So what do we know firstly? Point 1. We know that ratios and vectors are actually used to tell you the lengths of different sections of a straight line. So that's why we, we have to work with proportionality here. So if we know part of the vector, we can kind of use our ratio skills to work out the other part. And this directly tells us that if we know the vector along part of that line, then we can use this information to find our vectors along the same line. So here we go. This is all ratio and proportion. So if you know part of it, say, uh, let's say half of it was, was B, we know the exact half would also be, so it would be 2B. But because we're looking at ratios, we're probably going to be dealing with um, thirds and quarters. So let's check out an example. So, example tells us that we need to find the vector a to e in terms of the smaller a and b vectors. Now, looking at this diagram, what do we have here? So to me, I mean, I'm just going on the assumption this actually looks like a clear parallelogram. Okay? So in this parallelogram, what do we have? We can see that if we're going from b to c, this is written as the vector a. And because it's a parallelogram, we know b to c is parallel to a to d. So we can actually say... This is the vector A. Because remember, guys, vectors are the same if they're going in the same direction. Okay, that's the useful thing about vectors. So we can say this is also equivalent to um, if you're going from A to D. Likewise, if you're going from B to A, you get the vector small b. And underneath, if you go from which is equivalent to C to D. Remember, we've got a point needs somewhere in the middle, so we need to evaluate that. So I'm going to use the assumption that. So we're going to add a little note here. So on the notes, it says that from D to E, this, this is in the ratio of E to C, in the ratio of, let me say again, uh, 4 to 1. Okay, so this is actually something I forgot to add. Okay, so this indicates that from D to E, we have 4 parts and E to C have 1 part. So it means the total number of parts equals 5. So we can try and be a little clever here. Okay, so we can be a bit strategic. So if we want to say... Um, Let's say C to E, yeah? We can say that C to E is directly proportional to C to D, the, the direction of it. So, if that's the case, if C to D is exactly the vector B, that means C E must be a fifth of B. So we can say, therefore, C E equals one-fifth of C D. Okay, so imagine this is four parts this is one part, yeah? So you can't actually write this, but this is just a, an indicator. And remember, they're all going in the direction of B. So this would be four-fifths of B. And this part here would be one-fifth of B. And that's it. So now all you want to do is find AE. So to find AE, we can pick literally any root. So I would pick, let me see. So I'd probably pick from A to D and then D to E. And actually, now I'll pick this way because we've got CE. So if we're going to go from A to B, we're going to go through this route, yeah? So from A to B, B to C, C to E. So A to B is, of course, in the opposite direction of B, so it be negative B. Plus, going from B to C will be plus A. And finally, E to C is just going to be plus one-fifth of B. And that's it. Now we just tidy up, so you're going to get A minus B plus one-fifth should be exactly minus four-fifths of B. And that's it, guys. I mean, I hope this video helped. And that's that's literally all you have to do with ratio. I mean, sometimes ratios can be hard. This is a simple example, but trust me, in the end, like all maths, they're all dead easy. And you know what? Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this video helps. Please share this with your friends if it's helpful and maybe your teachers and anybody else you know. I would like to spread my name and hopefully, you know, this reaches more audience. And I would like to help you guys, of course, succeed. Anyways, take care, guys. And... Um, I hope you all have an amazing day. Alright, anyway, ciao and speak soon. Bye.